This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the gaming demo for the 2015 Alienware 15 with the NVIDIA GTX 970M GPU Core i7-4720HQ. Inside this is a 7 pound 1.34 inch gaming laptop with the usual Alienware FX lighting everywhere. Less chunky design by Alienware standards. We have a 256 gig SSD and a 7200 RPM one terabyte hard drive in here, 16 gigs of RAM. So you know what we're talking about. You can also get this with the GTX 980M with an AMD Radeon card if you like. Or if you want to save money, there's also the GTX 965M. So everything's Maxwell here in terms of NVIDIA graphics. So we're going to take it through its paces and try out a variety of games so you can see how it does in terms of network performance for multiplayer and some pretty hot titles that, you know, really stress a machine out. We're going to try in 4K and see how that goes and drop back otherwise to 1080p or 2048 by 1152 resolution. And here's a hint. It's going to do very well. So now we're going to test out Far Cry 4, a pretty demanding game. And for our settings here, you can see we're using for our graphics setting. We're going at 2048 by 1152 resolution, so a little bit above 1920 by 1080 full HD. And we're going with all settings on high full screen. And I will show you the advanced settings right here. And VSync is turned on at the moment, which is fine with me. Now, we did try running this game at full 4K resolution, and even on medium settings, it was at about 27 to 30 frames per second, and I know a lot of people want to see more than that, so you're probably going to want to pay, play the game at this resolution, which is certainly very respectable, and then you can play it on high. In fact, we're going to go up to very high and see how it does. And we have Fraps running, obviously, in the upper left-hand corner right here. This is running real-time. We're not using screen recording software because that could slow it down. Uh, the frame rate is very good considering the respectable resolution of, that we're on very high settings here. Gorgeous display too. Really looks lovely. High color gamut. Very, very good contrast here. Nice brightness. Far Cry 4 is looking pretty darn good right now. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to get up those rocks. All right, so here we are inside of Tomb Raider, and take a look at our settings here that we're going to use. We are running at full 4K resolution. Woohoo! 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. You can see here we have double buffering on, exclusive full screen, obviously. Quality set on high. Everything pretty much set on high. We do have tessellation turned off. Let's play. Just got word from the West Beach. Looks like a smaller group of skinny people are from the forest. Maybe we can get a hunting party down there. No, Father Matthias went to so Hold us to stay. You hear that? So at 4K resolution, with everything set to high tessellation off, you can see how we're doing here. Upper 30s to around 40 frames per second. You drop the quality settings a little bit if you find that's not good, but actually it looks very nice and it's quite playable, so it's not bad. If you want to play this at 1920 by 1080 or even 2048 by 1152, you will max out everything easily. You can play this on very high settings and you'll get perfect 60 frames per second if you're using VSync, of course, to limit those frames. So you can go as high as you want at 1080p, but with 4K, Obviously, high is about as much as it can support. You might even want to drop down to medium if you prefer higher frame rates. Yeah. Our girl has bad posture, but good aim. She's really, really smooth gameplay here. 
So there it is. You can go, go for broke at 1080p resolution, put the settings as high as you like, or 2048 by 1152, or at 4K, I mean, just up to you. I would go with the mix of medium and high settings. I'm kind of okay with this high that we're looking at right now, though. Okay, GTA 5, one of the hot games that just came out finally, recently, for PC. I'm going to show you the settings here. By the way, I, I'm sitting a, less than a foot away from the laptop right now. Hello, here's my hand. See? And so you'll be able to hear the fan as well as I will because the microphone is that close to the laptop and it does not get screechingly loud. This isn't like an ultra gaming ultrabook, say like the ZenBook Pro UX501 or the MSI Ghost GS60 that I love, but those are super thin and they really do scream when you're playing games. You'll hear the fan here, but it's never something that makes you wish your speakers could get even louder. Temperatures on the keyboard, like I said, you'll feel the, the warmth on the keyboard deck and you don't want to put this on your lap when you're gaming. If you're doing other things like productivity, then it's fine. But otherwise, you know, we're talking 122 degrees Fahrenheit on the bottom. That would be pretty hot. All right, let's take a look at our graphics settings right here. And you can see it shows you how much video memory you're using. We have the GTX 970M with 3 gigs of DDR5 VRAM, which is a pretty nice choice. If we want to play this at 4K, it's going to tell us that we need, oh, about 200K more than we have, which is kind of sad. So now we got 2048 by 1536. But here we go. See, oh, not, it's just like 20K or so. It's just a little bit. It's pretty sad. So we, I can't actually run this at full 4K. Now, if you go with the NVIDIA GTX 980M, that has 4 gigs of DDR5. So then you can give it a try and see how it runs. That's the one that, well, you might need to get the alternate power supply to power that guy up. Dell ships it with 180 watt. Power supply it really needs more like 230 watts to fully power it so the battery doesn't actually drain when you're playing. The introductory level 965M is a fine GPU. It really has, it's, well, it's 2 gigs of DDR5 VRAM, but besides that, it's really not meant for playing at 4K. And then there's an AMD Radeon option too. Anyway, let's put our settings right here. 2048 by 1152, which seems to be the happy medium for this. So here are the settings we're going with, which are pretty respectable, and let it let us just have a little good time running around Los Santos and see how this goes. All right, so I'm going to leave my house after taking a nice nap and walk around the streets of Los Santos. And the game is certainly smooth. Wish my driving was that smooth, but not bad at all. So again, this is with the NVIDIA GTX 970M option on the Alienware 15, and we have the 4720 HQ Intel Core i7 CPU here in GTA 5 on the Alienware 15. The fan is by no means blasting right now. It's good gameplay. All right, now going back in time a little bit, we have Mass Effect 3 here, multiplayer. I'm playing by myself in this lobby on a silver match. And those of you who play this game know that the real configuration actually happens outside. You can either use NVIDIA's utility to configure the settings for this or use the, the, the separate configuration program. We have everything as high as it can go and we're playing at 1080p. You can actually set it higher. I didn't even realize Mass Effect 3 supported resolutions higher than that. But it does. Obviously gameplay is going to be smooth, but this brings up the point of the fact that this has killer networking by Qualcomm Atheros. Very good dual band Intel Wi-Fi AC. And you have killer Ethernet as well. So when you're playing multiplayer games, you're going to get good performance here on the network. And as you can see, there, there are no glitches going on. It's keeping up. Granted, I don't have a whole lot of buddies playing with me, but I do have a whole lot of bad guys here on the map. It's reasonable. It's silver that there should be you know, sprites. 
So for multiplayer games, also the killer Wi-Fi, awesome choice. And now here's some Battlefield 4 goodness. We're going to do the single player campaign, campaign rather, South China Sea. So you can see our video settings. Here we go. Again, we're running at 2048 by 1152, and we have everything on Ultra. Yes, Ultra. Good times. And we will resume so you can see how that does. Lots of firefight obviously going on here, one of the busier settings. And at Ultra, we're managing low to mid 50s, which is pretty darn good. Though let's go to 4K next and see. We'll let him gracefully die. Okay, now we're going to try 4K settings, and I think we should drop it down to medium. All right, here we are, 4K resolution. We have mid to upper 30s for frame rates. Battlefield 4 at 4K resolution on medium settings. It's playable, but it's not great. So again, I mean, unless you want to play on low instead, you probably want to drop down below 4K, and that's the truth with most gaming laptops. A couple of games, like Tomb Raider, can handle 4K resolutions. Some of them just can't.